And we're live on the morning drive, WSR at 1580 AM, one L here, and I'm sitting with legendary, uh, lead singer, guitar player of T-Vice, Roberto Martino. What it is, how are you doing today? Thank you, Sasson. Good to you, but I'm legendary. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> 23 ans. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, we've been doing it for a while in the business. New Gen du Jun, they come to très jeune. But to hear that word, man, I mean, it goes right to the heart, you know? Now, and I definitely say legendary pop school. You guys are international. So if I say my eyes say, people in we have the American artists who shout them out. We have them playing on regular stations as well. So if I say my eyes say, okay, I So definitely got to say, y'all are legendary. Y'all have earned the title, legendary. I agree. I agree. We've, been, we've done a lot, you know? We've traveled a lot. Yeah. I mean, we do it with all our hearts, you know. We love what we're doing, especially representing Haiti, you know, its culture and stuff. So it, it's like living, you know, our own dream. It's like, you know, I'm basically living what I would love to do, you know. So it's a dream that, like I said, we're living and we're doing it with all our hearts. Now, a question that any artist would love to ask you guys is how do you stay relevant? I'm talking about, say, music. My mama and papa I'm take on dance, and now I'm here out here taking my dates to TV shows and we're dancing to the same music. How have you guys stayed relevant in, for 23 years? Well, you know, since we started really early, you know, we were like really teenagers, very young. Um, we, you know, we, we started, it was mostly our friends, you know, family that was supporting, then we blew up and we started understanding what it took and what the business is about. What makes you relevant and that keeps you in the business is to always improvise, always come up with new stuff, always make yourself, always reinvent yourself. And that's what we've been doing album after album, year after year. That's kept us in the public eye and in the front scene of the HMI. You know, each album comes up with a new spice, a new flavor. You know, every time you go see Tivice perform as well, we have something new that we add to our live performances. You know, and all these things, you know, they add up good strategy, good marketing, good um, management. All that adds up, you know, to keeping the band always, you know, relevant in the market. Now, adding to that, I have to say, you know, some bands have seen people leave, people go. How have you guys always, even with people leaving and coming, remained the same essence of T-Vice? Well, because, you know, me and my brother, Ronaldo, we're the ones that founded the band, that started the band. So, I think the main instruments are in our hands, meaning the guitar, which is the sound of the grooves, and Ray with the keyboard, and the arrangements and the sequences, etc. So, if me and Ray were still there, were always there, that means that the, the identity is always there. And if, let's say, a drummer leaves and comes, he knows what he's gonna play. You know, everything is already set. And, you know, there's, there's a line to follow. There's a, you know, I think the band already has its own sound. And whether you come or you come and create your sound in C-Vice, but you can find the sound that's already there, you play it. And if, let's say, you wanna improvise and create your own sound, the space is there, but I mean, I think by now we have an identity and we have, you know, our way of doing things. And me and Ray, you know, we're the ones that created that identity. The fact that we're there and we'll, we will always be there until we decide not you know, to continue. I mean, there's nothing that can stop us. Now, I'm to uh, talk about the beginnings of the band. Mm -hmm. Most Haitian artists have to deal with that power aspect. Oh, yeah. See, uh, see, it's a doctor and a little bit of a doctor. But, I mean, coming behind Top Vice, what level of support did you guys receive from your father? Also legendary in the game. Yes, you can say that. I, I can tell you that, you know, it's been weird because right now our manager is our mother. My mom is our manager, which and she's doing an amazing job. But in the beginning, she was a bit reluctant. She was like, yo, I would rather you guys continue, um, you know, and pursue your your studies and, and, and become, you know, whatever, like you said, a lawyer or a doctor. But she had so many bad experiences with my dad back in the days as well, too. Because things were tougher for musicians back in the days. So she didn't want us to go that route. But once she saw that, she couldn't stop that. That's what we wanted. She joined. And then we made a team, me, her, my brother Ray, then my uncle joined Pio, which is 
in logistics. And then um, from there on, man, it was it was it was history. I mean, we started understanding the business, working together, and then you know from there on, the band the band escalated. Never had any issues with uh, mummy. Your mummy today, but your your manager tomorrow. Like separate. Of course, them. I mean, of course, you know, things like that are gonna happen. But you know, it's it's family, it's blood. You know, we can have whatever dispute in one day, but this, the next day, it's like nothing never happened. You know, it's 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 we live like that at my house. You know, we forget about everything the next day. And and you know, certain places we go, we go to, and then. You know, certain fans come to the hotel and stuff, and we tell them, yo, it's not, it's, it's your time to go to sleep right now, you know. So, it's all part of the game. Of course it happens. I would say because historically some of the greatest artists and bands out there have had their parents or parents be their managers. Look at the Jackson 5. Yeah. If it wasn't for their father, yeah. where they've been. Look at Beyonce. Beyonce. If it wasn't for Usher. Matthew Knowles, yeah. Usher, something, these same people. So sometimes, I guess, having that element pushing you, but then again, being able to put the parental side and go straight business is okay exactly. too. I mean, look at Jessica Simpson, similar yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, here we are now, Demilis says, we, everyone's waiting for a uh, T-Vice album. Yeah. Are you, do you have guys have one in the works? Any singles that are gonna come out? We have an album, of, an amazing album in the works, which I'm super excited about. We've been working every day, every night in the studio. Um, I mean, I could say, End of end of summer 2016 or begin, you know, I could say around September the album should be ready to drop. Um, the fact that I say that is because there are so many albums being dropped right now mm -hmm. that you know we want to wait a little, you know, a little gap to give people the time to consume these albums and then so they can concentrate and listen to our album. So um, yeah, I say I'd say about. September, they'll they'll have the chance to discover this album. But I'm super happy, you know. I think we have some good songs, some good subjects, and I cannot wait for the fans to you know to hear what we've been doing. Because right now, I know classes on the up and up. They just dropped an album. Exactly. Any concern about that? Where you're just like, hey, congratulations to them. Man, Of course, you know, yeah, um, classes class. They're doing their own thing. They have their own sound, their own fans. You know, I mean, each institution has their fans, their following. And we respect them, and you know, I think they have a good album, a, a solid album out. I know New Look is coming out with a solid album too. And you know, a lot of bands are coming out, a lot of um, solo artists are, are, coming, are coming out with, with, with albums as well for the song. So there's gonna be a lot of albums coming out, but I mean, we're sure of our product. We have our fan base, you know, and people are waiting. And then we're gonna give them what they've been waiting for, man. We're very, we're very confident about this album. Now, something I see the HMI is starting to do. Your pad fait longtemps. Mm -hmm. They're dropping singles. Yeah. Nous pas de fait ça longtemps. Yeah. Gabel, Flay from Gabel has done a couple of these singles. We had um, Invictus, which was the album from Curlot. They had a single or two out. Are we gonna get a little single before sure. the album jumps out, or just lag it the whole album out? For sure. I wanna, I wanna release a single and, and shock the people and, and release something they, they would it you know, be expecting from us. So that's what I want to do. And not only that, um, we had two things. When 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 Luigi Music which sings with me right now, um, when he came to the band a year and, a, and, and something ago, we released two singles, um, Yo Poupe and yeah. NSA. You know, just- Epic video for Yo Poupe. Ah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, we wanted to, you know, to show the people this is what we're about now, uh, this is what the band sounds, etc. So there were these two singles that came out out of the live album, Reloaded, which I don't think is going to make it to this album. So by the time we're going to release this album, I think we're going to release a new single. So definitely we're going to do it. Now speaking of Reggie, we know you guys had Oli for a long time. Mm -hmm. How was that transition going from someone you were used to, no habitué à Vel, Jean Chanté, the way he worked with the band, to incorporating Reggie into the into T-Vice? Well, you know, it's something that's in the works still. You know, um, Reggie has his own style. He was never really in a in a in a, in a band like T-Vice. You know, you know. So it's a heavy compa band. So it's it's you know a learning process for him and adjustments are being made. So. I think he's gonna do well, you know, he has the talent, he needs to prove himself, you know, the people are waiting, and the fans are waiting, 
and, and I think he's going to do it. So we're giving him all the support and the space to prove himself. So, I mean, it's it, it's, it was like that in the beginning with Olivia as well, you know. It took him a while to really make an impact and for people to discover his talent. You know, it doesn't come overnight. You know, a lot of people are just pressuring Reggie or telling him, yo, I need to see this. But, you know, it, it doesn't work like that. He's got to fit in. He's got to understand the concept, make, you know, music, which 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 is in, the, in between, which balances his style and our style. And then from there on, we can we can we can start working. So it, I think we're at that point right now where we understand each other and then it's, it's gonna work out for the album. All right, now we are in April right now, and you know what comes next? May. Tout le monde connaît 18 May, and that means yeah. Compa Fest is coming Definitely. up. Definitely. You guys killed it. Yeah. Here's the issue. Y'all already know we, you guys have that uh, back and forth with Jacques number one. Y'all won last year. That is my <laughs> opinion, say, and yeah. a lot of people yeah. say the yeah. same. Yeah. We that saw lights, opinion. we saw fog, but yeah. they didn't bring it. What are we going to expect on this uh, from t Vice at Combat Fest? I think we're going to keep it at the same level and try to bring it up a notch, you know, try to shock the people with something new. And at the same time, you know, use the, the formula that worked. You know, we saw something that, we, we used something that worked. We used, you know, the, the way we played, the, the way we performed, um, the way we, we used the transition of the songs. And I think the interaction between me and the fans really helped a lot. So, we we, we, we kind of looked at the tapes and we understand what we did and we know what we have to do to this year to win again. So we're very confident about it. Any that. chance of sliding a new single in during Copa Fest? You never know. You never know. You never know. I'm trying to get a little avant goût for you guys. <laughs> um, right before we close, uh, we're seeing a big influx of Haitian American artists. Même si pas fait compa, they're representing the yeah. um, IT all the way. We had Black Dada for a couple of years. Um, we have Jason Derulo, openly Haitian, and even Steph LaCour now. Do you think there's eventually a place at Compa Fest for some of these non compa singing artists, but those who still rep IET all the way, or should they have a separate music festival for them? I don't see why not. I mean, they're Haitian, and it's Haitian flag day. You know, that's what we're celebrating at Compa Fest. It's Compa Fest, but we cel we're celebrating our flag as well. So I think all genres of music, you know, are welcome. I don't see why we should limit ourselves. Definitely, Compa should be, you know, the main music and the main, you know, main artists should be compa artists, but why not invite all these artists? I mean, make it bigger and, you know, have, have some space for everybody. Because I saw what helped, what worked for the, I guess you could say the American industry was hip hop and R&B walk hand in hand and exactly. they got bigger together. Yeah. So is there space for compa and rap Creole to start working together more to create a bigger genre or just to get the music to get that mainstream attention? Well, music has no boundaries, man. you know, I mean, as long as you do something that's good, that the people like, that could make everybody understand that, that you could reach all types of, you know, music lovers, etc. I don't see, I don't see why not. I mean, we're, we're always open to working with every artist, whether it be your Creole, Racine, Compa. You know, if you're Haitian, you're Haitian. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what kind of music you play, you know, so... I mean, uh, there's a few collabs that we have on the album too, with non compa artists as well. We're trying to do some, some, some few things that are out of the ordinary. So we're trying, we're trying, and, and, and I think it's for the best. Because right, I know Miami play artists, I see, yeah, Cap Grab, Cap Febay, yeah. there, and they're looking to, I guess, incorporate their favorite music, which is compa, of course, of course. and then their own personal talents. And you know, we at the morning drive, Napton New. When that album comes out, not to new email, new panel, so we can log that music Definitely. on the air. But Definitely. I gotta say, Wilberto, it's a pleasure. Anything you wanna say to the fan I take of T Vice? Moshe, thank you, man. Thank you to all to all the fans, everybody that's you know always there to support us, you know, that that believes in us. Among the, we've we've been in the game for a lot of years, but we're still young and we have a lot of years left. Um, I mean, we have a lot of good music coming your way, so, you know, can be la, continue to work with la, fanatic you, work with you, we have a lot coming soon, you know, thank you, much love, it be completely respect. Now, the way we sign off on the morning drive, we do Munya Anali, so on the count of three, okay. you have to give him a strong Anali. Right. One, two, three. Anali! Ah, once again, that's Wilberto Martino from T-Vice, you guys have a great day. Respect.